Steve Gamash with a Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product video. And in this version, we are looking at the uh, eye gauging angle cube product. It has a package that it comes in with a 9 volt battery, which is where it's powered, and a small little uh, vinyl sack you can put it in. Um, I have my own that I use quite a bit with the Edge Pro, so let's take a closer look at it. The way the product works, it's very simple to use. I do have an instruction book that's quite clear, but uh, in its basic form, you've got an on off switch. And what you do is you zero it out on a reference uh, table or board or metal piece, whatever you want to reference against. You lay it on there. It does have magnets on two sides. It's got magnets on this side and magnets on this side, so it will stick to anything that does, will hold magnets. The, um, <clears throat> the general purpose of it is you can, you can adjust for level and you can also just adjust for different angles. So it's got a couple different functions. And the way it works for just basic use is you set it on the surface you want to zero out against and you hit the zero button. <clears throat> and it's hard for me to do this with the camera being straight down, but you zero it out and then whatever angle variation you have from that zero, it will tell you what that angle variation is. And it's going to be a little hard to show here, but as I change my angle <clears throat> off of that zero point, it'll either go negative or positive. So you've got plus or minus off of that angle. It's a little hard to show. Try to get that just right. The cool thing about it is you can hold it upside down <clears throat> and the display actually switches. So that's pretty cool. So if you're sticking it against, it's going to air out pretty quick for me here, but if you stick it against something and you want to hang it off of metal, it'll do, or even hold it, it will flip the display around, which is pretty sweet. So it's used a lot on the Edge Pro system, and the way people use it on Edge Pro is they can get very precise, repeatable, loggable results with this product by zeroing it out on the blade table or on the knife resting on the blade table, and then take that zero reference, lay your stone at an angle you think is close, and uh, measure the rod arm angle relative to the blade table or the knife on the blade table, and that gives you precise difference between those two angles and so you can tell what you're sharpening at. You can get into also taking into account the degrees thickness of the knife and some other variations. We won't get into that in this video but um, it gives you a precise repeatable result. So if you get an angle that you like you write it down, log it, next time you put the knife on the Edge Pro uh, put it in the same position on the table. You zero out either against the table or the knife depending on your procedure and then you adjust the rod arm to that exact angle that you had before putting this on the rod arm, and then your stone is pre the precise angle it was previously, and you get very, very repeatable results that way. <clears throat> so this is a great product. The um, markings on the Edge Pro rods are just approximations, so they vary with the knife thickness and how far it is from the edge of the blade table. There's a lot of variations there, so this gives you precise, again, repeatable results. The other thing you could do with this, besides other purposes besides knives, <clears throat> And the Edge Pro would be, if you're just sharpening a knife and you got it on a water stone, you could zero this out on your countertop and then hold the knife in an approximate position you think you want to sharpen it, stick it on the knife blade, and see what the variation in angle is. It's not too good to, it's pretty, it's going to bounce all over the place as you sharpen, so I wouldn't use it like that. But you could put it on the knife and get a rough approximation of your angle that you're holding at, just to kind of get a ballpark. Uh, if you're wondering what that might be. So it's useful for that as well, besides other general purpose construction uses and machining and whatever purposes you might have for it. So it, it works really good. And I should say it's got three mag magnets. It's got one on the left, one on the right, and one on the bottom. So really cool product. It's built, it's just a solid piece of metal. It's built great, and uh, it's got a high-quality feel to it. It is definitely worth the price. So if you do an Edge Pro, if you use an Edge Pro for your... Um, sharpening and you want repeatable, loggable results, this might be a great accessory. Um, a lot of guys just can't get along without this because it, it really makes, it takes the guesswork out of it. So there you have the uh, angle cube.